for being quite honest, I have no idea where we are at in this vlog. I'm filming this seven days out of my competition. Pretty much just sums up how crazy and unorganized and just hectic my life has been. But uh, just kind of catch you up on the past few days that I have been recording, just random clips. Alexa, cue a montage. Now at lunchtime, we have what we've pretty much been eating every single day are some veggies, some pico. Today we have tilapia. It's either tilapia or some grilled chicken. And of course, can't forget the sriracha. Real quick, 68 degrees. Well, now it's probably like warmed up to 75. Feels good. We'll see how long this weather lasts. But I'm going to show you my outfit real quick, and I'll talk about this. As you know, it is October and it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It was this time a couple years ago that I not only lost my aunt, but my mom found out that she had stage two breast cancer as well. I don't know if you all remember that. Uh, this pink headband actually has their, my aunt and my mom's name, but wear pink this month forever for as long as I live will be a very special month that I will hold in my heart. A real quick low key flex today, got my high socks with the Yeezy V2. Black Alfie shorts, as you can see. I'm actually wearing my Supreme fanny pack, like a fanny pack. This new movement watch right here. Unreleased, like, Alfie striped crew neck. Dude, Please just open it, show you, I'm gonna show you. Dude, I smell it. I got a thin crust, how do you got a normal crust? Oh my God, pineapples. Deep dish. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that one smells amazing. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> Eight days out, back in the cut. You already know, we have to get Austin back in the We're hitting a push there, like I said, with my boy Austin. We are officially eight days out of our competition. Hey bro, we're on that bench. Yeah, we're on there. Yeah. Anyway, we are eight days out of our competition. I'm feeling good, feeling a little bit bloated. As you can see, feeling like, feeling really lean, which you guys will get a physique update. Honestly, I've just, just been trying to get through these past few days. It's been tough. We got a lot to catch up on. But nonetheless, your boy's back with Austin. Exercise. We're gonna do about three sets right here because I want to do a lot of accessory incline work next. Incline dumbbells. Probably do about 70s, anywhere from like 10 to 12 reps. Just squint to hold my contacts in there all dry. Honestly, like while I'm working out, if there's one thing that's kept me motivated lately is being in the gym and seeing my progress and everything I've worked for. It's the only time, like I feel good if we're being quite honest. <laughs> Getting all shreddy ready. Getting hoe ready. Where did Chris show? <sighs> so cold. <laughs> what? It's all cold. <laughs> It is freezing right here. Wow. I feel like such a tool, like flexing. I'll try to see around me and shit. Bro. Bro. Can see shit. Can see shit. Pull up on the demon on guard. A fraud. Flying private jet with the rod. It's the cat because I'm a hair raiser. Self made on all nigga damn field. When you get that money, to the start. I gotta find me a BT award. When your well run dry, you know you need me for it. When I tell you. And just 
just like that, you are caught up of what I've been doing. Six days out of my competition. Yes, I just uh, shaved a few hours ago. Just getting off work, but I'm about to hit my last le <clears throat> Voice is really high pitch. I need to settle down. It's a pre. I'm about to hit my last leg day of this prep along with 50 minutes of cardio on the Stairmaster. You can kind of see. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I uploaded a controversial pic of the other day that possibly broke the internet. Just kidding, not really. I'm focusing on literally getting every through every single day of this prep. It's been tough. It's probably honestly the toughest I've ever had to push myself mentally and physically. Uh, but I know that the end goal, you know, who gives a shit about stepping on stage? The end goal is going to be worth it, uh, you know, to be lean, to be with all my friends and family. Celebration after. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I've been working a lot. Um, I sh actually... But, you know, if you haven't copped some of the Alphalete stuff, first link in the description box, use your boy little code to, you know, support me and just, yeah, use my discount. It's not a discount code, but it's an affiliate link, but, uh, Origin Joggers, you got these colors, great fall colors right here, honestly. Very comfortable, it's more like a cottony, very, ta they have their tapered angles. Uh, the Women's Revival, fellas, get your girls some stuff. The Women's Camo Joggers, which sold out like crazy, black camo, the bra, Women's Crop, crop hoodies right here backpack and of course the dope ass uh, fleet men's cutoffs we got the scoop necks and then a the fishtail you already know first link in the description box if you guys are interested <laughs> Taking a little break right now uh, in the middle of cardio, my second session of the day. I'd be lying to you if I said like, oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, it's just tough, but um, I'm just, it's so surreal that I'm so close to the competition next weekend. Honestly, you guys know, like I said, I don't really care too much to compete, but at the beginning of the summer, I really needed this. I was very lost at the beginning of the summer. I was going through a very tough time. I'm still going through a difficult time. Not necessarily difficult, just a lot of new changes. And you all know what I wanted to gain from this prep, not only to get lean, but to gain clarity, uh, to have that end goal, to have something to look forward every single day for those tough days. And it's a, the end goal is finally here. And even though I have not failed to document a lot of this journey, it, it, I feel so much personal growth, so much adversity that I've overcome, uh, little things. And honestly, just, I couldn't be more thankful for my family, my friends, my supporters, everyone on this channel, everyone on my Instagram that's continued to grow again and i'm just makes me so happy makes my heart happy um this is probably the hardest i've ever pushed myself physically and mentally i know a lot of you haven't gotten to see that through the camera but one thing i can really say i'm looking forward to is like content i'm gonna put out like, things i can't really do honestly like if i'm being real no bullshit like, it's hard to film and edit when i don't have somebody to do it for me i i've been grinding every single day um not every day is easy these have been like the hardest days lately but uh i know just it's getting done and i'm just thankful for a lot you guys know at the beginning of the summer i was going through a dark time like i said and you know for anyone who is going through a dark time just know that there's always light at the end of the tunnel um if you ever need someone to talk to i'm here i'm just feeling real thankful exhausted but uh 16 weeks of dieting is what i've done a lot has changed a lot's going to continue to grow and it can only go up from here but I hadn't filmed myself in a couple weeks, so like seeing myself on camera, like I look like a baby face again, is kind of strange. But uh, again, looking forward to this weekend. Alex is going to be filming this weekend, so you guys have cool content to look forward to. Uh, post prep, got two videos planned so far. Turning Christian Guzman into a hype beast, as well as I'm going to be pranking him, because you guys know he's deathly afraid of snakes. As well as, you know, falls coming up, incorporating a lot of fashion and all that stuff. Good morning, IG fam. We're actually running late, but Zeke update. I am currently five days out of my competition. Really? We made it to the gym and it is currently 8.45 in the morning and this is what life on prep is like. I, this is seriously my first meal because I didn't have time to eat some egg whites this morning. Had three chicken breasts right here as you can see. It was like the pre-made stuff. Got uh, three servings of green beans at the bottom because low carbs. And then topped off with pico and I'm going to be eating sriracha. Like I said, it is hella early in the morning but you know your boys got to eat and I failed to prepare to cook last night so this is what the breakfast looks like. Outfit of the day, of course, 
is going to be these like these released like two launches ago these Alfleet gray striped joggers right here uh, Alfleet tank top for the workout later uh, denim jacket simply just because I'm gonna be promoing for movement later so I thought it would look better along with this new watch that just released for movement right there and of course my bands.